So I just realized I haven't made a prediction video on this uh, championship fight between Dina Tursland and Yorkis Carreno. Uh, to those who don't know, they're, they'll be fighting soon, hence why they had their recent uh, weigh-ins. They recently had the weigh-ins. Uh, they'll be fighting this coming weekend on the 9th of April, April 9, 2022, over in uh, Denmark. And uh, yeah, Tursland will be defending her WBO bantamweight title. Uh, both fighters look great at the weigh, the weigh in. Both fighters did make weight, weighing in below 118 pounds, with uh, Tursland weighing in around 117 and three fourths of a pound. And New Yorkis Carreno weighed in around 116 pounds and three fourths of a pound. Uh, both fighters look like they're ready to go. We have ourselves a fight. Now, um, when it comes to who I think will win, um, Dina Tursland, to those who don't know who she is, she's a 28 year old fighter from Denmark, undefeated currently. 17 and 0, seven wins coming by way of knockout TKO. Had uh, you know an active 2021, fought twice in 2021, coming off a uh, TKO knockout win against experienced fighter Zulina Munoz, and now here she is fighting Carreno, who, who is a 24-year-old fighter from Venezuela with a record of 22 wins, two losses, 17 wins coming by way of knockout TKO. Now I just recently watched some footage of Carreno, and I gotta say she can box. She's a pretty good boxer actually. She ain't that bad. Only lost twice in her career. Lost to uh, Deborah Annie Lopez in 2019 and to Tina Ruprecht back in 2018. Um, I think she's a much better fighter today. And I actually think this is going to be a competitive fight. But I'm still leaning towards Tursland. Why? Well, she's fighting in front of her hometown fans. She's fighting in Denmark, where she's from. Fans will be cheering her on. Fans will be rooting for her. The cheering might influence the judges. Fight will most likely go to distance. It's scheduled for 10. It'll most likely go to 7 rounds. And I say Tersland winning a close one. 6 rounds to 4. 7 rounds to 3. Most likely 6 rounds to 4. Heck, I won't be surprised if it ends up being controversial. But but don't be surprised in Carreno. I think Carreno definitely has what it takes to, to pull it off. If Carreno pulls it off, it will be a close one. But it, it will be competitive throughout. And uh, honestly, right now, just looking forward to a great weekend of boxing. A lot of boxing going on in the world. And I uh, can't wait to watch all these fights. So, let me know your thoughts and comments. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And like always, have a great day. Alright, thanks.